When you're working with the Microsoft Office applications, it's important for you to be able to identify the different file types that you can work with and what type of file can be used with Word, what type of file can be used with Excel, what type of file can be used with PowerPoint. And the way that you identify the different file types is with the file extensions that we'll be looking at in this series of lessons. In Microsoft Word, you can see that there are 17 different file types. Now, the number is not important, and this may change over time, so don't even worry about trying to remember 17. But whenever you go to save a document in Microsoft Word, you'll see that there are several different types of file. Notice for Word documents that they nearly always begin with .doc something. So .docx, .docm, plain old .doc. Here's a DOTX and so on. There's several different .do somethings. And those are always associated with Microsoft Word. I'll give you a quick example here. Here's a file that I created in Word. And up here at the top, you can see that this file type is randomtext.docx.docx. So that's a Word document. If I click File and Save As and go to Browse for that, if I click on the Save as Type, then I can find those different 17 file types. And I could choose to save this file in any other file type that Word will let me save it in. Now, in Microsoft Excel, there are 29 different file types. Not because it's more complicated, it's just that there's more different file types associated with spreadsheets than there are with Word documents. Normally, the Excel documents are identified with .xls something. So the default is .xlsx, and there's a .xlsm, .xlsb. You don't have to remember all these different file types, but what you do need to remember is that if you see a file extension .xls something, it's going to be an Excel file. Same way that a .doc something is going to be a Word file. And it's true also with PowerPoint. PowerPoint are files that begin with .ppt something or .pptm, plain old .ppt, and so on. And there are 29 different file extensions in PowerPoint. Remember to associate the different file types with the different Office application. .doc will be Word, .xls will be Excel, .ppt will be PowerPoint. In Outlook, Outlook is the email program and calendaring program. And there's really only one file type that begins with the .o, and we're not going to use it hardly ever. In fact, in this class, we won't use it at all. But the different file types are just not very many, and we don't have to worry about that too much. But then in Microsoft Access, there are only four different file types, and only one of those is really important for this class, and that's going to be the file that starts with .acc. And so ACC, you associate with Access, and a file that might be OFT, that would be Outlook. Any file with .ppt is going to be PowerPoint, XLS with Excel, and .doc with Word. Now, what do we need to know out of all of this? Don't worry, first of all, about how many different file types there are. Just be aware that there's many different file types. And be aware that each Office app has file types that are unique to them. You will always associate .doc with Word, .xls with Excel, .ppt with PowerPoint, and so on. The file extension is what tells you which app is going to open that file. So you may not be able to tell by the file name if it's a spreadsheet or a Word document or a PowerPoint file. It's not the file name, it's the file extension that tells you what the file type is. And also be aware that we'll look at this later in the week. Computer users can make a file extension open in a different app. So as a computer user, you do have some control over how these things work. Now let's just go to the computer here and take a look. I have a file folder here called File Extensions. And you can see here that I have some 
different files that I created. I'm just going to sort these by name so that you can see them all here in order. So I created this random text document. This is the one that you saw a few moments ago here this random text that was created and I created that in Microsoft Word. But I also that same document, I saved it as an HTML file while I was there in Word. I also saved it as a, an Adobe Acrobat file. I saved it as a rich text file. I saved it as just a plain text file and as an XML file and so on. So you can take a Word document and use any of the file extensions that go with that particular app. But the problem is here, again, look at the names of these files. You really can't tell by looking at the file name itself what application is going to open that. Now you might be tempted to look here at the icon and see that it shows a W and so that might indicate to you that it's going to open in Microsoft Word but then when when you get to some of these crazy looking icons you say well I can't I don't know what that's going to open in you could look over here in the third column where it tells you the different file types this is what Microsoft wants you to do they want you just to look over here in this column and they spell out the whole thing and so right here the only word document that uh, was created by me in this test was the random text file that I created in Microsoft Word document. So why doesn't Microsoft show us the dot file extension here? Well they turn it off by default. I have no idea why they want to do that because they don't do it in Microsoft Windows. Let me just show you this. I'm going to slide this over here and I'm going to open up my command prompt. Now notice here that in my file explorer that I'm in my documents folder in a, in a subfolder called file extensions. And you have the same thing over here in this command prompt. Now this is a program that's on your computer that allows you to get down inside the guts of your computer. And very few people, unless you're very experienced, know how to operate this thing. So what I want to do is I want to look at the, at the directory of all the files that are in the file extensions folder. So I type dir and then hit enter. And then Microsoft Windows shows me that there's a random text .docx, .html, .pdf, .rtf, .txt. And, but in the Microsoft File Explorer, they don't show you those things. Why not? Well, that's a decision that Microsoft made, and I think it's unfortunate. But they do give us the ability in our File Explorer to turn on those file extensions. So in your Windows Explorer you can come to the View tab and then if you're in Windows 10 you simply come over and find the checkbox that says File Name Extensions. You check that box and then it will show you the .docx, .html, .pdf. So here are all the extensions and my recommendation is that students office workers, everybody, you should always turn on your file extensions because this settles any question about what the file type is. I know that this is a, a Microsoft Word document because I see .docx, not because I see Microsoft Word document over here, because sometimes you might see something over here, like rich text or something, and you don't even know what's going to open that file. Well, whatever is associated with the RTF is what's going to open that file. So turn these things on. Now if you're on an older computer, Windows computer, and you don't have Windows 10, so you may not see this checkbox for file extensions. I think in Windows 7 there was an option over in this area of the screen that allowed you to get to something called the options. And so look for options in your file explorer and look for something that's called change folder and search options. So change folder and search options. Click that. Come over to the view tab. And here you'll come down to the one that shows hide extension for known file types. See Microsoft puts a check mark there which means they want you to yes hide the file extensions. But I suggest that you uncheck that box. Uncheck it because you do not want to hide file extensions. So apply that. Click OK. And then now you'll see all of the extensions. And if you're in Windows 10, you'll see that that 
file name extension is checked again. So these are the file extensions that are used in the Microsoft Office applications and this is how you can see them in your Windows File Explorer whenever you do your work.